dedicated to rare and inspiring songs, anecdotes, and photos from underappreciated musicals. Uh, that was Carrie Manalakis and Woo! Courtney Wolfson yeah. singing Solid Silver Platform Shoes from The Magic Show. And The Magic Show was a 1974 Broadway musical with a score by Stephen Schwartz. It centered around... <laughs> Oh, I love that picture. <laughs> it's centered around legendary magician Doug Henning, and the writers erected a story around him about a seedy nightclub in Passaic, New Jersey, where an alcoholic old magician tried to sabotage his act. Um, interestingly, yeah, there's Doug Henning. Um, the Magic Show is an underappreciated musical, but it did not run only a minute. Actually, it ran for 1,920 performances. Um, it didn't get such hot reviews, but it ran for a really long time thanks to a star who could not act or sing or dance, but was a magician unlike any other. Oops, we skipped one. We're going great. Um, <laughs> Doug Henning um, was a skinny little mustached hippie kid in jeans with a fresh, unpretentious persona. That's how he was described. Um, and he created illusions that were so imaginative that nothing else about the show mattered. Um, and I love this. This is an ad from a playbill at the time where if you order a magic show cast recording, you get a free hexaflexagon. <laughs> I've got four. Um, unless, unless you were actually at the court uh, theater in the 1970s, you can't really know the show because most much of the show was quite literally magic. Uh, Henning was surrounded by nine other performers who sang tunes such as Solid Silver Platform Shoes, as well as West End Avenue and Lion Tamer. It's a good little <laughs> cartoon for Schwartzy. Um, in the Times, Clive Barnes said, I have a nasty feeling that if I do not give this show an unadulterated rave, the star, a young magician named Doug Henning, might turn me into a lizard, a frog, or a pumpkin. Clever. We should have had a picture of a pumpkin. Um, indeed, the magic was the main thing on the menu. Uh, and Barnes continued on to say, Do you recall those rather awful movie musicals that were based on Sonia Henney's ability to skate or Esther Williams' ability to swim? The magic shows like that. 
<laughs> uh, fascinatingly, the show was all about Henning, but his entire performance on the cast album consists of one line spoken unsurely. And yet, check out all the folks who invested in the show. Um, this is really interesting. Show Business Weekly, a publication, used to list all the investors in each show with their addresses, so you could write to them. <laughs> You could write to them for money, I guess. And there's Angela Lansbury's brother up there. Her, her address? No, her brother's uh, her, address. Oh, yeah. Well, he probably still lives there. 